Happening right now, the U.S. Senate is debating voting rights legation. Racist. Here's a live look right now when at the disagree. Senate floor. While the legislation is unlikely bill. to pass, supporters say they are not giving up. News for Mark Seagrave spoke out, with local politicians and activists who are working on their next move. State to state decisions. I supporters of voting rights legislation have made their voices heard in Washington this week. The King family leading a march across the Frederick Douglass Bridge. More than two dozen protesters arrested on the steps of the Capitol. Despite their efforts, the Senate is poised to kill the bills that were approved by the House. But that isn't keeping those like Delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton from keeping a positive attitude, as she points to the upcoming midterm congressional elections. When they see us fighting, we will, we will be in a much better position to keep our seats in the House and to keep the country from giving up on voting rights. If we sit and do nothing because we're going to lose then everybody loses. Pastor William Lamar is among the faith leaders who will keep pushing for voting rights. What we have to do is engage in a multi-pronged fight that is local, that is state, and, and D.C., of course, as I said, needs to be a state, and that is national. Norton agrees the next battleground for voting rights will be at the state levels, where states like Virginia are debating various voting rights bills. But Norton wants the district to be part of those debates as well, as she continues to push to make D.C. the 51st state. So the more we link ourselves here in the district to the overall struggle for voting rights, uh, the better we will be in getting H.R. 51 passed. As for Pastor Lamar, he wants all Americans to think about this. A people not able to vote are people disconnected from the realities that shape their lives. And that ought not be so in a place that claims democratic values. The Senate is expected to take its vote sometime this evening. A rally is planned outside the Capitol starting at 6. In the district, Mark Seagraves, News 4.